What's happening folks, welcome back to Street Notes. If today's episode doesn't have any music, it's because my music subscription ran out and I just didn't get it resubscribed yet. So let's see how this goes. This is day two of the Colorado Springs Balloon Festival and as the sun's coming up, people are very slowly unraveling their balloons. Uh, usually they start taking off immediately. I think there maybe was a little bit of wind that was slowing things down. But as usual, I'll take pictures of all these set up things. But as usual, I'll take pictures of all these set up moments because sometimes I might find a good composition or a good gesture will come from it. Three, two, one. Oh! Yeah, let's try it again. Three, two, one. Oh! Now, I made the decision to stick around these two novelty balloons for a lot of this morning, thinking that this is where all the action would be. And while there was some action later, earlier on, for some reason, they took a really long time to set up. And I wasted quite a bit of time just waiting on things happening in that general area. I should have walked around a bit more and shot other things while waiting. Eventually, when it did start going up, these are so big and like complex balloons. There's a lot of a lot of different activity and stuff as they unravel. And there were some good compositions here with these folks unraveling the the tentacles of this thing or whatever the heck the legs I think it was of a crab uh, mixed with all the shadows. This lady had made friends with this balloon guy and he kept kind of feeding her the sort of uh, most popular type of pictures to take there. There's great colours here and it could just fill the entire composition with people and balloons. There is feeding her another picture. It's an extremely surreal thing to be standing in a field as these giant balloons start to take off. But this one, for some reason, reminded me of like the movie Cloverfield, or one of those series of movies anyways. Here we've got all the people standing in shadows and same thing, trying to fill it with colour and light and shadow 
and hope that people move or gesture in some sort of way that fills the frame up. And the way these people are sort of carved out with the light there, I kind of like, but something kind of missing here. People hugging, I'm always drawn to gestures like this. And this truck was very shiny, reflecting all the balloons and people in there, and it sort of had a split reflection because of the window. And I quite like this, there's sort of a gesture from that one guy, and he's like doubled. I don't have, it's not a particularly complex picture, but it has kind of a graphic element about it, which I quite like. I'm waiting in this patch of light in the hopes that something good will happen walking towards me. And this guy who had been falling around a lot does this big thumbs up sign. And it's, honestly the picture's not that good. Um, it would fit in as a s sort of story of the overall festival if I was putting together some kind of series, I guess. A very interesting looking guy. It kind of makes me think of like a, an older Hulk Hogan. I wish I'd gotten closer as this person was helping the balloon to inflate as it's taken off. I was also trying to deal with my own shadow and not have it blaringly obvious in the frame or block anything out. This one I quite like. I like the, I like the woman's hat, I like the yellow gloves, the sort of gesture, the pinching manoeuvre that she's doing with her fingers. The other person fills out on the other side of the frame and the balloon itself kind of splits the frame down the middle. And in this one I like because she kind of drags her hand behind her as she's about to leave. And we've got balloon filling up the frame, we've got the nice light at the bottom of the frame, my shadow, her shadow and her hand kind of trailing off um, at that corner there. This one didn't really work, but he was interestingly dressed. There were all these kids that I guess had been hired to help with this balloon here, and there was some good compositions, I guess, because we've got the that crab thing in the background. I quite like that one. Again, that crab is the main focus of this picture, and then the people for scale in the in the foreground. This dude holding the balloon behind us, again, has this scale, but I don't like the way his head's composed with the, with the blue line and the yellow line. It just kind of throws it off. I like the gesture of the hands crossing over here, but it's not quite coming together how I would like. Another really simple picture, um, it's always kind of frowned upon to take pictures of people's backs in street photography because there, uh, I don't know if there's like some sort of disconnection there or something, but and it doesn't always bother me that much. Some of the greatest street photographers have plenty of pictures of people's backs, so it can work if like the person is not necessarily like integral to the subject of the photo. like. The shadows that are in there, the, the silhouettes, all the colours are, are as much part of it as the person is. So, this, I kind of don't mind this. This was a better one of all the gestures with the balloon, just everybody's hand up, kind of trying to unfold it. And once again, hanging around a basket. It's never 
came together in a way that gave me a picture that I loved before, but I'll always keep trying. And this is the closest I got to it of this whole festival weekend. Uh, the guy taking the drink really is what made it there. And otherwise, it's, it's not too bad. I don't really love the wording on that person's shirt. I think it draws the eye a little bit too much, but whatever. I was on my phone texting my wife and this started happening. I did get nice and close to this kid as he's deflating that balloon. And again, pictures of people's backs, sometimes the frame is just, it's just, that seems like the better frame. Uh, I could have had him pulling the rope with nothing behind him and I think the context here is better. And because there's three people pulling it, it sort of tells the story if you are into telling stories with pictures. And then as I move forward, this woman sort of does this squat maneuver as she's trying to deflate the balloon. And I just thought it was quite a quirky looking moment. The other kids just standing watching her. So it's the end of day two of the Colorado Springs Balloon Festival. And in the three years that I've been going there, I think that's day number six that I've managed to get down to actually photograph it. A few pictures that I like from this, but it still sort of stands that the first day or two that I ever photographed has most of the pictures that I like the most from this festival. I don't know why that is. Maybe I was just a bit more in my like groove of things in 2021. That could be the case because I'm shooting a lot less this year. So the pictures that I like are this first one was when they were taking, the, it was like one of the first pictures of the day. They're taking the baskets down and the light was just a nice color. I think again, if you're looking at a photo story, some kind of report on the festival, this would be a nice picture to have in there. The second picture, I just like where all the people are spaced throughout the frame and you have the mountains in the background, you can see the crowd in the background, and then there's another balloon sort of spread out on the floor as well. So there's kind of a lot going on and I like it. When the balloons are inflating, I've got these nice simple backgrounds that are super colorful. So this kid that's sort of unrolling one of the legs of the crab balloon, I filled the rest of the frame with my own shadow. So it sort of like fills in that side. So I've got this kind of rule of thirds thing going on we're at one corner, I'm in there, at the other corner, he's in there, and we're both on those third sort of sections. And that would probably work if you used like a diagonal or, you know, the golden triangle or something, whatever the heck it's called. I don't remember all the names of the composition things. And then I also really liked the one looking in the car, like the reflection of the car window. I think after all of the different ways that I've tried to compose things, this was just a good way to add in something a little bit different and it worked out really well because the balloon inflating just completely filled the frame and yeah, I think it's, it's okay. I think I just like it. And then lastly, I like this frame with the two volunteers unrolling um, this, whatever this balloon was and they're just nice, nice little sections in the frame and they fill it up nicely. So I guess I'll end it there. Thank you very much for watching. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. Drop me a comment down below. Let me know what you thought. And I'll see you in the next episode. Cheers.